Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to rev up those engines? Today we're gonna to talk about blow dryers. Dyson versus Ferrari, which one's gonna blow me away? Check it out. All right, you guys, let's get started. So Dyson versus Ferrari. Oh my goodness, did you ever think we'd come to a day when we talked about Ferrari blow dryers and Dyson blow dryers? 20 years ago, I never would have thought this would ever be, okay? Let's just be honest. Who would have thought they'd take a motor from an exotic car and put it in a blow dryer, and then a motor from a vacuum cleaner that has led the industry and put it in a blow dryer? Who would have thought? But they did, and they came out with some impeccable products, you guys. This is insane. And I had to put them both to the test and see which one was gonna work better for me. Do you wanna find out what my winner winner chicken dinner is well you're gonna have to wait till the end of the video <laughs> i first want to talk about these two products so i'm going to start off with the ferrari because wow we are a ferrari household around here and we love ferraris and when they came out with this bad boy we were like whoa that is very pretty and it has a ferrari engine i mean hello a ferrari engine how cool is that this is the babyless Pro, made in Italy, Volare V1. All right, let's swing on over to the product details. It's a unique collaboration between two of the world's most visionary and successful companies, brings forth a new era in professional styling. You've got Ferrari, the world's most respected manufacturer of high-performance luxury automobiles. The world's famous championship cars capturing over 5,000 victories on racetracks and roadways all over the world. Then you've got Babyliss, the leading manufacturer of the quality professional hair appliances with record sales in more than 100 countries, making it the driving force behind the professional beauty industry. Now, together, they created this baby, and it's introducing the Babyless Pro Volare V1. This powerful, high-performance, professional luxury dryer is made in Italy and driven by an ultra-efficient, high-speed, turbo-powered engine designed and built exclusively for Babyless Pro in cooperation with Ferrari, specially constructed for maximum airflow, minimum weight, and low vibration. The Ferrari design engine delivers faster drying, making the Babyless Pro Volare the Grand Prix of styling. How cute is that, the Grand Prix? Let's swing over to the Ulta website where you can actually purchase this product. And you see right there, it's the Volare V1 dryer with Ferrari designed engine. It is rated, oh my goodness, a whopping almost five stars, pretty much five stars in their reviews. 179.95. So we already talked about it being the Grand Prix of styling. The key features are that it has a nano titanium infused grill, a triport ionic generator. It has balanced ergonomic housing in Ferrari red, turbo shot instant boost button. It has six heat speed control, 10 foot tangle free cord, 2000 watts and 125 volts. Yes, is this comparable to other babyless blow dryers I've used in the past? Absolutely, it is very comparable to it. But this bad boy is built with a Ferrari V12 engine and Ferrari parts. So this is gonna make your drying time a lot faster and that is a huge, huge key benefit to me because I, it takes me forever to blow dry my hair. So when this guy came along, I was like, ooh, this is not, this is nice. My hair is getting dried a lot faster. I mean like literally half the time. So it has a very powerful engine and turbo boost. Not that you can really tell. I mean, it's not like it's gonna go whoosh like that, like it's gonna blow you away or anything like that. But it does, that turbo boost and that powerful engine does make it a lot faster when you're drying your hair. As far as like the smoothness and the, and the silkiness, I don't feel like I got that from this blow dryer. And I don't feel like I get that from a lot of blow dryers. So that that still to me, it was that was something that was still lacking to me. But as far as the powerful engine and making it dry my hair so much faster, I mean, hey, I'll take that. I can always smooth it out with the flat iron. But would I like a product that I can actually have it dry my hair fast and have smooth hair? Absolutely, who wouldn't want that, right? We all want it all. Every girl, we want it all. <laughs> but it is, it's beautiful, and I absolutely, absolutely love it. And for 179, still not too badly priced. I mean, blow dryers these days, if you buy a high quality blow dryer, 
it's gonna cost you a penny or two. If you want a blow dryer that's inexpensive and that's probably gonna break in a month or two, then <laughs> that's probably gonna run down in about a year or so, then you can go down to lower end blow dryers. But I always believe in coming from a mom that was a hairdresser, you do need to invest in quality products, especially if you're spending all this money getting your hair done, colored, all that stuff. You don't wanna negatively impact what you're already doing. So spend your money wisely. Use it on products like this. Don't get a cup of coffee for a month. And put it into a product like this that's gonna last you for a very, very, very long time. So I am impressed by that. And I mean, hello, it's Ferrari. So you can't go wrong when you have something of such high quality put into, like they said, that collaboration with a manufacturer like Babyliss is like, wow, it's incredible. That's, it made a beautiful baby, <laughs> let's put it that way. This V12 also has a 12 bar rotor system, which is very unique to blow dryers. You will not see that in any other blow dryer on the market. Because it's the world's first ball bearing blow dryer, it's not only gonna give you a smoother and more superior performance, but it's also gonna last you 300% longer than most blow dryers. So that's huge claim that they can make on their website. And you guys, this blows over 80 miles per hour. That's crazy. But because it has all that cool technology in it, you don't feel that. You don't feel that 80 miles per hour. So that's why this blow dryer is just so unique to the market because yes, if you like that high torque, if you like that high performance, if you like that blow dryer, that's gonna really just blow dry your hair like that, this is your guy right here for $179. With all the Ferrari parts in there, that's what makes this blow dryer so unique to the market, which I think is really cool. The only thing I think it's lacking is, even though it has ions in it, I don't feel like it's smoothed out my hair as much as other products have in the past. So I have other more inexpensive products that I like using that actually can smooth my hair better than this. So that's the only downfall to me when it comes to the Ferrari blow dryer. All right, enough about this guy. Let's move on to the Dyson. So we have Ferrari and now, oh, another thing I wanna point out is the cord. I don't feel like this cord was just anything special. I feel like it does exactly <laughs> as I hit myself in the head. It is exactly what all my other blow dryers do and it's so frustrating. And it comes with the normal attachments that you get on other blow dryers that I like. But again, these fall off, they're just not, I don't know, sustainable. Like for $179, come on Ferrari, you're like first in class. Let's build something just a little bit more sturdy and more I mean, if you're gonna come up with a blow dryer, I felt like they could have like uniquely designed it better. I just felt like they could have done something better with the aesthetics of this product. I don't know, I just feel like it's no different from any other blow dryer. I mean, just it looks exactly the same to me. You've got your cool air system right there. The cord, same thing, the engine's built in the nozzle as always. I mean, it's about as heavy as other blow dryers. It's not light, so that's one thing. I mean, the nozzle's okay. Then you have the filter, which is exactly the same as other blow dryers. Your hair can get caught in those. They're hard to clean. I just don't feel like that part of the blow dryer made it any more spectacular. So I do feel like they could have like maybe digitized this part and just made it a little bit more 20, 2019 when it came out. Not like so old school, because to me, this looks like a blow dryer I used 20 years ago. So that, was, that wasn't anything special to me. Again, just, I mean, the design, all of this is beautiful. The color is beautiful. But for $179, honestly, like, I don't know if I would repurchase this again. So that would be my only, like, downfall. Is the fact that it's a Ferrari engine so cool? Absolutely. If you're not into Ferraris or even care about engines, then... Pfft, this is not something you're really gonna care about. <laughs> Honestly, it's nothing special. So that's just my opinion. I'm gonna show you how it blew dry my hair versus the Dyson. You guys, how beautiful is this blow dryer? I love the color, it's so beautiful. Royal blue is so incredibly beautiful. And look at that 23.75 karat gold leaf. Look at that gold right there. How gorgeous is that? I'm going to show the video of how it's made.
how beautiful that is. The Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer 23.75 karat gold. This blow dryer will run you about $449 currently at Sephora. It is a limited edition and exclusively online only. So you will not find that one in store. And it does have five stars, you guys. It is just impeccable. Look how beautiful that is. There's the product in the red leather case, which is so beautiful. Then you've got the different nozzles, but this is the one that comes with on their website. The beautiful red box. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. All right, let's get into the details of this product. So you have the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer, engineered to protect hair from extreme heat damage with the fastest drying plus and controlled styling to help increase smoothness by 75%. It increases shine by up to 132% and decreases frizz and flyaways by up to 61%. I can honestly say those claims they're making is pretty pretty right on because I found it to be extremely beneficial when it came to shine and frizz. As far as hair type and hair texture, it pretty much just is inclusive to all straight, wavy, curly, coily, fine, medium, and thick hair concerns. Like I said before, these blow dryers that you spend a lot of money are going to be good for damage, breakage, split ends. It's going to help increase that shine and give you that heat protection. What else you need to know? The Dyson engineers sought out master gilder Karen Hasselwood to learn the necessary skills to hand gild the Dyson supersonic hair dryer. The specific red gesso color underneath the gold reflects the traditional gilding techniques used on picture frames in gilt artifacts. It is intended to reveal some of its color over time, helping to give each gold leafed face a unique distinctive patina. The 23.75 karat gold leaf is sourced from Florence, Italy and was chosen for its unique color and luster. The product includes a matching red gesso box and personalized certification from James Dyson himself has the fastest drying time, the small powerful Dyson digital motor V9 combined with air multiplier technology produces a high velocity jet of controlled air for the fastest drying and precision styling. Prevents extreme heat damage to help protect shine. Intelligent heat control measures the air temperature over 40 times a second to prevent extreme heat damage and is engineered for all hair types. Through research in our hair laboratories, we've engineered a range of attachments designed to different hair types, which is awesome. So all of their attachments are specifically made for your specific hair type, which I really like. It's lightweight and balanced because it has that motor in the handle, like I said before, it's completely rebalancing the dryer's weight and shape. Magnetic attachments, the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer comes with magnetic attachments so you can adjust quickly and easily. And I just love that about this product. It's acoustically turned. The powerful motor is turned to produce one inaudible frequency. Precise speed and heat settings delivers fast drying and styling, regular drying and gentle drying with a constant cool flow. It has negative ions which help reduce static in the hair and it's cool to touch with the heat shield technology. The surfaces of the attachment stay cool even during close-up styling and it comes with a two-year warranty. And if you look at this page right here, if you buy it from Sephora currently, it comes with the magnetic styling attachments, the styling concentrator, the wide thin design of the styling concentrator creates a high velocity blade of air that's perfect for styling. A smoothing nozzle which dries hair with smooth controlled airflow helping to create a smooth natural finish and then it comes with a diffuser which is engineered to dispense air evenly around your curls and stimulate natural drying helping to reduce frizz into fine curls and waves. The long prongs allow for you to style the hair with control and reach deep into the hair. The product is a 2016 and 17 Allure Best of Beauty Award winner and a 2017 Allure Reader's Choice Award winner. Dyson Supersonic is the most awarded hair dryer of 2017. So if you buy the set from Sephora, it comes with the Supersonic hair dryer, the smoothing nozzle, styling concentrator, diffuser, the non-slip mat, the storage hanger, the red gesso box, and a certification signed by James Dyson. So it comes with quite a bit at Sephora. You guys, this product is so beautiful. And if I'm really holding the two in my hand, this one is actually lighter than this one. So I do really like that. Especially 
especially for someone like me who has thicker, coarser hair that takes a long time to dry, having a device like this in my hand is so much easier than having something that is more weighted in my in the Ferrari one. So I really love how the engine is built into the handle. I love that the filter is so easy to clean and oh my goodness, all you need to do is take a cloth, like a dry cloth and clean that off, snap it back on. There's actually, and you can lock it, there's actually a LED light that warns you when you need to clean the filter, which is really nice because sometimes we don't really remember to do that. So I really, really loved that about this. The control, the actual panel is just so, just, it's not digital, but it's very like, just modern and new and just so different from like, <laughs> just generic <laughs> to me this is generic and to me this is high quality this is, speaks class this speaks okay ferrari's nice but this is like bugatti right this is like rolls royce right classy and beautiful and just the craftsmanship i want to say each one of them was handcrafted so that is so cool when you bought the 24 karat gold one i'm sorry the 23.75 karat gold leaf one if you're really being specific <laughs> but if you buy this one it's so beautiful i mean the pink and gray one is so pretty the white one the black one i've seen them all in person and they're absolutely gorgeous but this is expensive so that is a huge con i do feel like and i again i don't know i mean it may be that these products are so difficult to make and just the fact that even when you buy like a Dyson fan, a Dyson air purifier, a Dyson vacuum cleaner, you're spending quite a bit of money. So if you're spending all that money to clean your carpet, why are you not spending it on your hair? Because your hair <laughs> to me is something that you go out in public every day and everyone sees it. You spend all this money getting your hair done at a hair salon. Why wouldn't you spend the money on a blow dryer that's actually going to help not further damage your hair. Like that is insane to me. Like if I have to save up all my pennies, I'm gonna spend it on this. I'm gonna not buy coffees for a few months. You know, think about how much you spend on a coffee at Starbucks or anywhere you go, coffee bean. You're spending a lot of excess money that you could be spending on something that is just so high quality and that will last you forever. And you blow dry your hair a lot. So why not have a device that's not gonna be you know, cumbersome and, and just, you know, a nuisance to your morning routine or evening routine. So I don't know, just to me, this is absolutely worth it. It is so divine. It is the most incredible thing I own. It is so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So the motor is in here, but what's really cool about this is that it's the same motor that's in the Dyson handheld vacuum cleaners. So that's pretty cool and those work amazing. I mean, again, like we use Dyson to vacuum our carpets. I, my parents have all my life. So to have it in a blow dryer, you go to like restaurants and you put your hands in those Dyson air dryer things. I mean, they just dry your hands like that. So if you know, you know it's a tried and true name. I mean, it's like Kleenex for uh, tissue paper, right? It's just tried and true. It's good. It's good stuff. People know it. Dyson, it's not like you just some off-brand company came out and created this device. You're talking about Dyson. So, you know, it's tried and true. And not only that, having the motor in the handle just makes it ergonomically a lot easier to hold the product. So your hand doesn't get as fatigued and tired. People who have like carpal tunnel, people who have, you know, any kind of just hand problems or just arm problems, shoulder problems, you're gonna find this product to be so much easier on your arm, your hand, everything about it is just the way it's balanced is like no other blow dryer on the market. They are one of a kind. This is first in class. This is the only blow dryer you will ever find that has the actual motor in the handle. Everything, all the other blow dryers, it's inside 
the nozzle. So it makes it very unbalanced, where this one just balances upright. It's so easy to blow dry your hair. I like that it's shorter. I like if you could see the difference between the two. One is the dice and one is a lot shorter, which makes it so much easier because I know myself, and you'll see as I blow dry my hair, sometimes I forget that not to go too close, like I just get caught up in blow drying my hair, where in reality, you really want to hold the blow dryer upright, and you wanna make sure that you're not going too close to the hair. And I think that that's what makes this one so unique and so nice and so just so much more beneficial to not further damaging what I've already got going on. So I am gonna put both of them to the test today and I'm gonna show you guys the difference. I'm gonna use the Dyson on my left side, I'm gonna use the Ferrari on my right side and you're gonna see a lot. So I don't wanna tell you everything. You can fast forward to that part if you want, but this is just, I mean, impeccable design. I just cannot believe. And you don't, again, you don't have to spend $449 if you don't want this one. You can actually buy the one for $399 and I'll show you right there on the Sephora website. It comes in, again, three different colors, the pink and gray, the white and the black. And that one's, you're gonna save yourself about $50 so to just not have the gold part, which is not that relevant. So if you that doesn't mean anything to you and you just really want a good blow dryer, I would go with that one. So if honestly, if that was my choice, this was a gift, but if it wasn't, uh, if it was something I was actually purchasing on my own, I would have gone with the $3.99 one and I would have waited till I had my Rouge discount of 20% off or buy it at Ulta because Ulta gives a lot of 20% off coupons. So I just want to quickly go over how hot the settings get. So within the four precise heat setting, you have 100 degrees Celsius, which is like that fast dry, which is normally like what I like is to keep it on there because this has that heat intelligence that won't let it get to a point where it's gonna just damage my hair so I do like to keep it on the 100 degree one and then you have 80 degrees Celsius which is like the regular drying time and if my hair wasn't that wet I'd probably go on that setting and then you have the 60 degree Celsius that actually gives you like a gentle heat like a gentle drying almost like borderline cool and then you have the constant cold which is 28 degrees Celsius so it has all of those different heat settings on there that you can control with this red button. And then this other button is just how powerful you want it to be. And then you've got your on off switch and then your cold button. So if you turn it around, the 13 liters of air is drawn through the back and the base and it goes up through the handle and is powered by this mighty little digital motor and it's propelled through the front of the barrel, so the non-colored side. So it's retaining three times the force of what it was propelled through the handle. This also has Dyson's signature air multiplier technology in it, which is also in their brands humidifiers purifiers and phantom heaters so that's pretty cool that all of that which we own the humidifier and the purifier and we love that so the fact that that's all included in this particular blow dryer is pretty cool <laughs> i just think that's so fascinating yes it's cool that a ferrari engine's in here but i mean when it really comes down to what's best for my hair I really want something like that, but I'm gonna put it to the test. So you'll get my final verdict at the end. I think you kind of know which way I'm leaning, but <laughs> I do find that, you know, something that I really, really need for my hair right now, which is so damaged from just constantly dyeing it blonde, because I mean, shocker, I'm not really a blonde. <laughs> so maintaining this blonde is just really frustrating when it comes to like finding good heat products that are not gonna just negatively impact already what's already damaged and yeah it's just a hot mess already <laughs> a beautiful hot mess already so i really want to find a product that's just gonna like my t3 flat iron that i'm really gonna just feel confident that every time i use it it's not gonna just continue to just negatively impact it so that was a huge huge benefit for me so yes ferrari motor engine v12 engine amazing but this also has a very powerful motor in it and it just it blows me away <laughs> But a bunch. Yes, I know that was really corny, but I know I probably just bored you with all those details. So we're going to get to the fun part. We're going to see how these two blow dryers actually blow dried my hair. All right, you guys, let's rev up these engines and put both of them to the test. 
All right, you guys, let's start blow drying. So I'm gonna do the right side first and I'm gonna use the Ferrari on the right and then the Dyson on the left. I'm gonna just show you guys, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell and it's gonna be really loud, so I'll do the best I can. I'm gonna kind of turn up the volume, turn down the volume, just so you can kind of not get annoyed. <laughs> but I'll just show you just kind of how smooth each side looks in kind of drying time. My hair is a little damp right now. So of course, I just want to make sure it's nice and smooth and damp. I mean, my hair is just, it's been through it, you guys. I know, look at this. Isn't that it's just a sexy hairdo right there? You know you love it. So I'm gonna use my Orbe Royal Blowout Hair Styling Spray. I love this stuff. I just talked about this in my video of my 2019 best of hair products. If you haven't seen that video, check that link out. It is all my favorite go-to products for hair styling, shampoo, everything. I use to maintain this damaged blonde hair. <laughs> I did a separate makeup one, so you can see that one as well for all my 2019 favorites. But we're talking about hair right now, so we don't need to go into that, but check out both of them. <laughs> so I'm just gonna spray that down. So one thing my hairdresser from Vidal Sassoon taught me, and she's a master at Vidal Sassoon, that you really shouldn't be going in with these beautiful round brushes that just give you the perfect blowout. You shouldn't be using this when your hair is extremely damp. When it's about like this uh, dry, kind of like halfway, you're okay. But if you go in with these like amazing brushes that just give you the smoothest blowout, if you go in with like really wet hair and use this brush, it can actually damage your hair more. So just be really careful. I'm assuming because of the titanium or whatever that is, the aluminum stuff that is supposed to smooth out your hair it just gets really heated and I'm assuming that's why, but I'm not sure. I'm not a professional hairstylist, okay? I just love hair products and I grew up with a mom who was a cosmetologist for 50 years. So I am not claiming that I'm a hairstylist. I just pick up a lot of tips from being around a beauty salon my entire life and from having a lot of friends in the industry and having some really amazing hairstylists throughout the years. So I just pick up tips here and there, but I'm not a, not a professional, okay? I'm not a cosmetologist. I just giving you my opinions and giving you the tips that I've learned along the way. And she said, use brushes like this or use your hands first when you go first go in there and start blow drying your hair, that's what you should do. So just a little, just a little tip. But we're gonna use the round brush since my hair is kind of dry already. And we're actually gonna section it off. So this is what I normally would do. So let's see here. I've been kind of going in sections with my hair as far as like blonding it because it's a little more pricey here in Southern California. So I kind of have to break it up a little bit. All right, so we're going half and half. So we'll just start off with the bottom. All right, you guys, so let's rev up that Ferrari. Here we go. So normal sound. So I am going to put it at the highest settings because that's what I would normally do. And I think that's giving it a fair shot that way. <laughs> and to show you guys that this really does a beautiful job and a fast job of blow drying my hair, which is a huge plus for me. All right, here we go. You can put these attachments on. It does come with a couple attachments that work really good. All right, so that's the Ferrari. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I just noticed it in the monitor. But you, did you see a little bit of smoking there? So standard for me when it comes to regular blow dryers, okay? So great, blow dry it pretty fast and smooth and it looks beautiful, okay? But I don't like that I saw all that steam going on there, the heat. That's just telling me that it's damaging my hair <laughs> more than it's already damaged. So there you go. There's a little bit of the con on the Ferrari side. Now let's go to the Dyson side. Okay, so do you see how this cord, no problems with it getting all tangled up. Love that. 
I just, and I know this really just takes getting used to and I know some hairdressers absolutely love it that I've spoken to and some absolutely don't like it. So, I mean, it really just depends. I always say everything is always preference, right? What works best for that individual person is what's really what it comes down to. But I personally really love the way this feels. The engine, again, as I said earlier, is in the handle versus in the nozzle area. So for me, this feels heavier than this does. And some people say that the Dyson's actually heavier, but I actually feel like it's more balanced. There's a lot of things I love about this Dyson, but what I really love is the magnetic attachments. How amazing is that? I mean, this one can come off. It's just, it's flimsy. It's just not as like, I don't know. To me, it's just, it's just more cumbersome, but this, oh my goodness, was a game changer. Because when you have two different attachments, it's nice, say I just wanna take this one off and put this one on. I mean, it's just so much easier. I'm actually gonna use the bigger one. And I love that it comes with the heat mat. I have other heat mats, so I'm not really that concerned about that. These two attachments are awesome, but I just love that whole magnetic feel. How awesome that this totally matched, right? <laughs> $400, like $5.99. <laughs> but it did totally match, so of course I had to get it. But I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna do a fair comparison since I used the round brush on the right side, I'm gonna use the round brush on the left side as well. All right, you guys, so look at this beautiful design. What I wanted to show you was that filter is so easy to pop on and off and clean versus that filter, yeah. Traditional filters are a pain in the rear. Your hair can get caught, not this one as much, but some of them, your hair gets all, I've had some where my, it like has yanked out my hair, which is just, I mean, come on now. Dyson just, breaking all of the coolest technology tricks. All right, you guys, let's look at the back of the device. You have the on off button right here. You have the cool shot, and then you have your temperature, and then you have the power. So how fast you want it to go, how hot you want it to be. So let's turn it on. Whoa, see how powerful that is? Then it shows the indicator of how hot you want it or for how powerful you want it. So that's like lower. I like it higher. Get hotter. Just like that. How cool is that? So it takes some getting used to. There's a little kickback with it, but oh my goodness, you guys, just watch how this blow dries. Here we go. Let's just put it to the test. Here we go. We have Dyson on one side, Ferrari on one side. What do you guys think? If I'm telling you my honest, honest opinion, of course, this is not a sponsored video. We purchased both of these products. The Dyson completely outdoes the Ferrari. <laughs> when it comes to the softness, I mean, my hair, I don't even feel like I have to flat iron it on this side. This side still feels frizzy. This side, I still feel like I'm gonna have to go in there with my straightener and really smooth it out. I can feel it. I can feel how frizzy my hair is. This side, so soft and smooth. Now, if you are a girl that just doesn't have very damaged hair, you just don't really need to blow dry your hair. It can really just air dry nice and smooth and pretty, then, you probably don't need to spend $400 on a blow dryer. You can get away with this blow dryer or even probably a more inexpensive blow dryer. But if you're a girl like me or a girl who has coarse hair or naturally curly hair and just really thick hair, these Dyson blow dryers are a dream come true. I don't know if you guys noticed, and I don't know if my microphone's picking it up enough, but this is actually quieter than this one and there was no steam. Did you guys notice that? There was total steam on this side and no steam on this side. 
So that's just telling me I'm getting all the pressure and heat I need, and it has that heat technology to really sense it, like my T3 flat iron, it senses it, so it knows where it needs to be warm and where it doesn't. It has that intelligent temperature control, so it's really like just smoothing it and drying it in all the right ways. So I don't know if you guys notice, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is so much softer than this side world's difference. Okay, let's just finish blow drying the rest of my hair because yeah, <laughs> it's looking a little crazy right now. So I'm just going to do it really quick here, but I'm going to just continue doing the Dyson on this side and then I'll just kind of fast forward and make this go a little bit faster and then I'll finish off this side with the Ferrari one. All right, here we go. So there we go. So we have Dyson on the left, Ferrari on the right. And I know you're probably going to go, Christy, it looks the same. But honestly, I can really feel the difference. And I don't know, maybe you guys can tell. I can tell how soft my texture of my hair feels so much better on this left side than it does on the right side. It's not that it's a huge difference. I still think this is better than a lot of my other blow dryers. To me, though, the Dyson just... Ding, ding, ding. This one outweighs this one by a landslide, in my opinion, because you just pay for good quality. And I'm telling you guys, yes, $400 is very expensive and you don't have to get the gold one. I mean, you can just get the regular Supersonic. It comes in three colors. I'll show you right there. And it's going to give you the exact same quality as this one is just paying for the gold the fifty dollars extra was for the gold but other than that the whole concept behind this blow dryer is super cool and the italian flag on there i mean it's just it's it's beautiful in that respect but do i think this one's more girly absolutely this one's more like masculine to me in my opinion <laughs> this one is just maybe it's the gold and everything that's just more blingy and catchy to me to my eyes and then the pink and gray one of course it's so beautiful and i love the white one as well so i don't know i just feel like this is the best blow dryer on the market in my opinion, okay? And I know not everybody has $400 to spare and that can afford a $400 blow dryer. But if you can save your money, if you can wait till Ulta has the 20% discount, wait for Black Friday. But honestly, you won't regret it. It is an excellent blow dryer. I'm telling you guys, my hair, especially if you have dry damaged hair like me, you're gonna wanna invest in good products. You know, I love that T3 flat iron. You can watch that video when I unveiled it a few years ago. That T3 flat iron, I still have it to this day. So yes, it's a couple hundred dollar flat iron, but I still have it three years later. So if you really break it up in that time frame, it's not as much as it that initial sticker shock. But honestly, this is by far surpassed the Ferrari. So sorry, Dyson blew out the Ferrari. This is like the Bugatti of cars. <laughs> this is the Ferrari, which is amazing. Love it. We love Ferraris. But this is like the Bugatti of cars, okay? This is like, woo, this is like Rolls Royce, top of the line, Oh my goodness, you're paying for class. You're paying for design, craftsmanship, that 23.75 karat gold leaf. I mean, the quality is impeccable. This blow dryer is just beautiful. So if it's between the two, Dyson wins, baby. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to see more testing out products like that in more hair videos, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Set that notification bell for future videos, and I'll see you in the next. Thanks, guys. Bye. You better turn up. 